Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the drain tube in a Whirlpool refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. It should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a quarter inch nut driver and a heat gun. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new drain tube and the spacer. The drain tube connects the freezer condensation pan with a drip pan inside the machine compartment. The installation of the new style drain tube that replaces the old type, called the dog bill grommet, illuminates the reoccurring blockage of the condensation drain. The sure sign of the clogged drain is ice buildup at the bottom of the freezer that causes water leak on the floor in front of the fridge. If there is any ice at the bottom of the freezer, remove the drawers and using a heat gun melt the ice behind the rear evaporator cover. Using the quarter inch nut driver, loosen up four screws that hold the freezer door. Leave the door out. Remove the bottom drawer. And now we can use a heat gun to melt the ice and defrost the drain. Be careful not to melt the plastic lining. If there's a water in the drip pan, you did a good job. Install the drawer. Install the door on the four screws and using the quarter inch nut driver, secure the door. Place the towel on the floor under the inlet tube. Then, using the quarter inch nut driver, remove the single screw that holds the tube to the rear access panel. After that, we can remove the seven screws that hold the panel. And then, lift up and remove the panel. Slide out the power cord. and remove the access panel. Clean the access panel grill for better airflow. Pull out the old open-sided drain tube. Take out the dog bill grommet if it's there. It's supposed to go over that tube. This is the old drain tube next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. Push the spacer supplied with the new drain tube onto the short drain tube that sticks out. It's kind of tight, but we should be able to get it all the way up. Install the top of the drain tube on the spacer. It's very important that you push the tube up so its flat surface will be touching the machine compartment ceiling. Then you can install the bottom of the new drain tube on the drain pan. Install the access panel. Make sure the water line is outside. Slide the power cord into the cutout. Secure the access panel with the seven quarter inch screws. Secure the water inlet line to the access panel with a single quarter inch screw. Plug the refrigerator in and run it for a few hours to check if it's cooling down properly. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.